Hello and welcome to a new episode and a new run on this channel. My name is Saiken and today I figured I want to give an overview about one of uh, the upcoming projects. This is going to be the introduction video for a longer playlist or a set of playlists regarding a new series, uh, series which I call The Diaries of Death. And it is one of those projects which really develop and uh, during the time of its evolution you think about them and since a lot has developed since I started the project, I figured it would be best to kind of uh, do a lay of the land beforehand so that uh, you see at the very beginning what the final product should look like. So the Diaries of Death is going to be a series of runs on Skyrim with a little twist of uh, uh, dead is dead slash permadeath uh, angle where I'm trying to play hardcore runs with different builds. Uh, I will go into depth in basically the first video of the first run of why Skyrim and uh, why this is in my opinion a beautiful environment in order to have kind of challenging runs but I want to use this opportunity to uh, more formally uh, structure through the idea of what I am using as a base for all of the runs that are following in uh, this uh, playlist you will see an Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim special edition not an anniversary edition uh, which is uh, going to be overhauled it basically has the core mod of Requiem installed for those of you who aren't as deep in the Skyrim modding community in a nutshell Requiem is a complete overhaul of Skyrim as a game it creates a leveled world which means you no longer meet only equally strong opponents but essentially every single actor in the world has a level and they might just mop the floor with you if you're in a wrong area at the wrong time it is way more level uh, the survivability of everyone is reduced which means it is also way more easy to die the authors of this overhaul have also kind of balanced a lot of the skills, items, trading system, combat systems, the importance of the stats, specifically stamina, and the way that combat works in general. The known abuses and loops have mostly been uh, patched, more specifically the potentially most famous one, uh, which is the crafting loop. Uh, which basically tunes down all of the items that you can create, generate and so on and so forth. Typically the strongest items in this uh, mod or in this overhaul are the ones that you would find in endgame enemies and in uh, game quests. And finally it introduced a variety of scripts that simply make the, the world uh, much smoother, the behavior in the, uh, of the AI as well as the combat itself is tweaked substantially. Now this has happened relatively early in Skyrim's career. Skyrim 2010 overhaul, I think 2013 was the first version of Requiem and then the fifth version came out sort of 216, 217-ish. Um, fast forward, people played a lot with it and then came to the idea, hey, let's tweak Requiem even further. So it's a bit of an oddity, but it plays with a mod of a mod. Um, the most famous one, and I would say community accepted one, is 3BF Tweaks, which is based on three tweaks. And essentially what that uh, does is stream, uh, streamlining a lot of uh, the uh, content removal of mostly the stuff that you can get for free, i.e. Uh, things laying around, easy quests were made harder, a lot of the items were gate key, uh, kept, and it further balanced a lot of uh, the st uh, stuff, basically learned out of multiple years of Requiem to even the playing field with many different uh, builds. Finally, it added a new XP system just to make it a bit more bearable. Uh, this is specifically geared um, less towards role players and more towards like dungeoneers, explorers and fighters and you basically get experience for killing enemies and there is an elaborate uh, system of leveling it up and finally and that's what I found incredibly interesting is every race is made um, highly unique in its sen uh, sense. Uh, they also introduced the divine blessings as well as uh, reworked the stone system, which are now called birth uh, marks. So essentially you combine a blessing, a stone and a race, and all three will give you different bonuses. 
and uh, that those bon uh, bonuses uh, will influence uh, the build that you are playing so it's really a bit of a modular uh, system uh, with which allows a lot of variety in terms of uh, builds and of course the permadeath aspect is quite fun what i have thought about uh, doing and that's why it's called the diaries of death is not to just have one run but essentially do a couple of them uh, and come up with a few interesting uh, builds and the way that um, requiem itself is uh, structured is uh, it has a i would say almost three tier system of content you have the beginner uh, tier uh, which includes a couple of the easier uh, missions bandit content as well as a few of the larger organizations companion dark brotherhood and uh, thieves guild to name a few and that'll really uh, cover the part between level 1, level 20 to 25. Then in the tier 2, you're finding more content geared towards 20, 25 to 35, 40 ish. Uh, these are Dwemer Dungeons, the College of Winterhold, Dragon Priest, like really more end game ish individual uh, content. And finally, you do have kind of the big bosses of uh, the game. Alduin as the standard boss, Mirak as the boss of the first expansion, and Karstak as, as the boss of the second expansion. All of them are really, really, really tough, which typically requires in a world of Requiem characters around level 35, um, 40 and, and above. And really what I wanted to showcase are a couple of different builds. I came up with a few backstories and uh, also thought about just showcasing what theoretically can be done. And the idea is depending on whether or not those runs are successful, I will run uh, through comparable tier one uh, achievements. I will create it as a shared world. So Hamza, uh, Ron and co will live in the same world and essentially try to showcase different content so that they are not doing the same content over and over. At the end, whatever or whoever is left uh, will be put towards a vote and whatever you guys think is most appealing will go into tier two and then we're uh, taking on the mid-game content. Uh, rinse and repeat. Hopefully I will be able to actually uh, complete the full run. So that's really the idea of Diaries of Death. I hope you thoroughly enjoy it because it was a lot of fun playing through some of uh, those runs and off we go into each of the runs.